Hello everyone, it's uh, David Boucher again, uh, back with another video update on my attempts to marry some uh, cutting edge consumer technology with oil and gas field applications. My last video was uh, actually a video of Google Glass being applied to uh, oil and gas applications and, and I'm really happy to report back that it got a, a, a very excellent response. So I just checked today and it was at over a thousand views. So thanks to everyone that's watched it. And I think it really shows just how much interest there is in applying some of this new technology to, to oil and gas applications. What you'll see though in front of the camera is that today I do not have my Google Glass device, but rather just a, a Google Nexus tablet. And there's a reason for that. The first is that uh, from a, a development standpoint, uh, Google Glass is not, uh, not as easy or not as pleasant to develop for as the tablet. And the reasons for that are purely practical. Namely that uh, with Google Glass you have to have the device you know, sort of around your uh, around your eyes to check your results. It's a, a, a small screen and uh, it's not something that you can look at sort of uh, back and forth. You really have to be intent on what you're developing. So it, uh, it it's not as pleasant as having a large screen with lots of lots of colors and something that you can sort of uh, tap around. So just from a development standpoint it's it's more convenient. But more important than that, if you look at Google's philosophy towards glass, it was never about using that device by itself. Google Glass really is meant to be a complement to your existing devices such as the tablet or smartphone. On top of that, if you look at my last video, I actually had to code uh, those applications, those Google Live cards into the machine itself. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that there was an easy user interface I could use to get that content onto Glass. I actually had to go in uh, play with the code to get that content to appear. And if you look at adoption of this technology, of Google Glass technology in oil and gas, if there's no easy way to get content onto the device, it will not be adopted. So the idea here is that I really wanted to explore the marriage of tablet technology with Google Glass technology. And the use case I picked for that was the tally book. Now for those of you that have worked um, in field service or have worked around field service personnel, one thing you'll notice is that they carry around a, a tally book. And the tally book is essentially to uh, jot down important notes as they relate to the job or uh, you know keep the, keep the job procedure in it for reference. And it just seemed very cumbersome to, to have. I mean, if you have gloves on, it's hard to write with. They can get dirty, they can get lost. And on top of just the data that you write down in your tally book, you have to remember that you're also bringing a lot of data with you into the field. So you're bringing, for example, directions to the job, you're bringing uh, tool configurations, you're bringing a job ticket to sign. So it's a lot of data and a lot of information that you have to keep track of, and it's on these very disparate and sometimes hard to access um, sources. So what I wanted to do was come up with a tablet app that could maybe help uh, solve some of those problems, that could really make all of this data easily creatable and accessible, and then have a medium uh, from which you can kind of launch Google Glass content. Now, uh, I definitely want to stress that this is a very early work in progress. Uh, it's just it's a very time-consuming project to work on, and it's very difficult. I mean, there's not a lot of uh, people out there doing what's being done here, so that's transfer from tablet to uh, Google Glass. And so I'm, I'm really just sort of figuring it out as I go along uh, with everyone else. So I do apologize if this seems unfinished, but I thought rather than waiting until the very end of this project to then do a big unveil, I thought it'd be more interesting to um, to put my ideas out there, you know, put my, uh, put my stake in the ground, and then do videos as I progress so that I can keep you updated. So with that introduction out of the way, I'm going to open what I'm calling, for now, the digital tally book. And you can see that all of these categories are really meant to represent the life cycle of a job. So again, the idea is to move the field engineer away from having data stored in a bunch of different places. So with tally books, loose leaf paper, a laptop they bring into the field, and really have one store where all of this data can be created, shared, and then of course uh, referenced over the course of the job. So just to walk you through the eventual categories that I will probably work into the app, you have uh, well conditioned. So the idea is there that you put sort of what the casing plan is, the temperatures, the pressures, and then of course the job objectives. So just very general data that's still very important to know. Of course, directions to the well site uh, from, the, uh, from the base or wherever the field engineer is leaving from. The job procedure, of course, very important and it's got to be uh, easily accessible for the field engineer. 
The JSA, also equally important. So the idea there is that you write down all the things uh, that perhaps could go wrong during the job so that you can discuss them and mitigate them ahead of time. The tool checklist, which will contain the uh, tool configuration as well as all of the different settings for each of the tools. The job ticket will be the, uh, the receipt essentially, so the field engineer will be able to present that to the operator clients um, after the job so that uh, the, the engineering company, the service company can be paid. And then finally, incident reporting. So no one wants to think that anything can go wrong during a job, but it does happen. And so I wanted to put an easy way uh, in this app to where someone could take pictures of the incident, record what the incident was, what some of the actions taken were, and then have an easy way to share that uh, back at the base so that, um, so that someone can look into uh, what happened and how to, uh, how to not have it happen again. So I, I wanna stress that for now, these are just placeholders. Uh, I've really only had time to tackle two of them, but my hope is that just by putting this sort of um, very initial uh, sort of prototype demo online in a video, it really gets people's uh, imaginations going and I can benefit from early feedback and maybe work some of that into this app. So the first thing I wanna show you is a demo of the job safety assessment. One of the things that I really wanted to do with this app was to make, to make it um, as hands-off as possible. So again, the field engineer can have uh, sort of gloves on their hands. They may be dirty. They may not be able to take them off for safety reasons. And so I designed this to have uh, as little input as possible with the hands. I wanted to make voice input a, a really standout feature of the app. So in this particular case, I'm going to build a very basic JSA. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna hit this entry box here, and I'm going to say, account for cold temperatures. I'm going to hit enter. So you can hopefully see that the first line item accounting for cold temperatures was entered. I'm now going to enter another one. Lifting heavy equipment. So there it is. So I basically said this job on this job uh, safety assessment, we're going to account for cold temperature working conditions and the lifting of heavy equipment. So already here, the engineer is starting to build a list to which they can refer to, which will not get dirty, will not get lost. It's on the app. But what if uh, what if that needs to be shared? What if the service company would like to see what uh, conditions were encountered? And what if the operating company wants to see the same thing? Well, I can just hit the share JSA button and you can see that I have a list of potential ways with which I can share this JSA. So if I hit email, you basically would see a list pop up which um, which would have that, that JSA in it and you could then send it back to whoever wanted to see that JSA. So again, the, the idea with the app is easy content creation and easy content sharing. Here's the button that I'm most excited about though and unfortunately this is not something I've gotten to work on yet. It's the send to glass button. So you saw in the last video that I really emphasized how great it would be to have um, to have the content available on Google Glass whenever the field engineer wanted it. But again, it's very hard to create content for that. Now I actually had to go into the code to create it. The idea with this app is that in any of those sections, you can easily create your content on the tablet, and then as you're getting ready for your job, you can just hit send to Glass, and there, boom, it's available for you on the Google Glass device for access in a hands-free way. So really, I'm sort of looking at the problem from all angles. First, I want to solve it solve the problem of having information in one area, that's with the tablet. Then I wanna solve the problem of having easily creatable content on Google Glass. And the idea there is to have this sent to Glass button programmed and hooked up um, for easy access and easy transfer onto Glass. The other feature I wanted to look at and I've started to program is the directions to the well site. This one seems uh, very trivial. But again, the idea is just, it's ease. You know, no one wants to carry around um, stacks of paper with directions on them. So again, the idea is just to, to really arrange everything onto one app. And if you look at things that go on during a job, getting there is certainly an important aspect. And so I really wanted to make sure that was worked into the app. So again, the idea here is very simply, you'd enter a starting point, you enter the job site address, hit enter, 
and then that will bring up a map of the starting and end location. Two features I have not, sorry about that, I have not yet programmed uh, are the email directions button. So the idea is there, there is that you would hit email directions, an email form will pop up with the step-by-step -step text directions rather than just having something show up on a map. And those can be emailed either to your email account or emailed to um, perhaps the, the field engineering or the, the field supervisor, I'm sorry, or even the operating company. Send to glass also is the other button I'm going to, to program. And the idea there is that you'll just send a message to Google Glass, which has a GPS device there, a GPS tracker. So you'll send the location to Google Glass. It will then start um, the GPS tracking and you can get your directions there also. Uh, of course, being careful not to look at them while your vehicle is in motion. So with that, that ends the, uh, the demonstration of the app. Uh, I'm very sorry that for the moment I have not been able to show you too much functionality. Again, it's, um, it's just it's very early going, but uh, I do want to make sure that everyone's informed as I move through the project so you can see uh, progress. And uh, I'm also very excited to, to collect some of your feedback. So if you'd like to sort of uh, show in, to, to share your input as to how this could be better, maybe there's already an existing product out there that I'm not aware of that does sort of the same thing. I'd love to hear about that also, but um, certainly either contact me through my website, davidvoshe.com, my email address, which is buildinghydrocarbonbonds at gmail.com, or you can just use the comment section at the bottom, the bottom of this video. Thanks so much. See you next time.